If this video gets 40 likes in the next two weeks, I will post another live closing for you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have been sick uh, the past three days. Hopefully I don't have COVID, but I noticed on my last video, it got 25 likes. So I have to, you know, be a man of my word, give you guys what I promise. So here's another video of me closing a deal for $3,000. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, if this video gets 40 likes in two weeks, I will post another live closing for you guys. So hit the like button. You guys killed the like button on the last one. If you want another video like that, 40 freaking likes. Give the video a like. It costs zero dollars. Let's get into it. Are you both there? Yeah. I'm here. All right. Daniel, this is Matt. I'm David. Uh, you know, definitely, obviously, took a phone call this weekend. Uh, heard a little bit. Uh, if you want. Tell us what's going on. Sure, yeah. Actually, uh, I sent you a Zoom link. You can actually open it on your phone if you're not in front of a computer. I really just wanted to show you the back end. Um, that would be important. It's not necessary, though. But if you can open that, you know, obviously you can see the back end. It would be a lot better. But anyways, I don't really have a script in front of me. I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about our network and see how it works. But, you know, if at any point in this you feel like you're not interested, it's not for you, just let me know. No harm, no foul. Um, but anyways, yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys to see if you're a good fit, answer any questions you have. But, uh, you know, before we start, how are you guys getting applications right now? So I, I'm the, um, the director of our business development, and the majority of our business comes from real estate agents. So okay. So we do, we do both. We have some. Matt, I just emailed that to you, by the way. Uh, we do both. Uh, we have some consumer direct uh, activity, but uh, the majority of what we do is, is real estate generated business. Got you. Okay. So then you guys are really good at what you do then. You're all referral. Yeah. Yeah. We do a lot of referral business. Okay. And then the referrals are you getting? They're actual applications, right? Or just leads? Uh, right now, it would just be leads. Uh, we actually turn them, into, we turn them into applications after we talk to them. Okay, got you. I'm only asking because like many of my clients, uh, you know, have done Facebook or Google in the past, just regular Facebook and Google, and those leads are really bad. So, you know, many times they're unqualified or not interested in wasting time. So we only look at applications. So people have actually applied for a VA loan. Um, so, oh, let me actually add you to the Zoom here. Uh, and Matt, let me know if you can see my screen. Um, but anyways, yeah, so we only okay. look at applications, but... You know, I want to know when you guys get an application, what is the sales process like? Like, for example, how many how many deals are you guys doing per month? Uh, enough. Uh, we're doing we're doing we're pretty high volume. So, I guess to, tell me tell me more about your process. Tell me about the leads that you're generating, where you're getting your leads from, uh, how long you've got to been doing this. Give me a better idea of what you guys are doing, and then I'll share more about what we do if it's appropriate. Sure, yeah, man, I was right about to get into that. But when we started, we actually gave our clients leads, just like everyone else. They were very low intent, like social media leads. And we actually hit a point where we felt like snake oil salesmen because we sent leads to our clients, but they wouldn't close anything. But now we're actually handing over quality applications. Uh, but the way that it works is similar to like Veterans United. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that, but it's basically just a high ranking website specifically for VA loans. Uh, so it's a high-ranking website. It educates people on getting a VA loan and they can apply. So if they're interested, we just put your info on there. They fill out an application and then we send them a text to schedule an appointment. And right now we're seeing like a 47% appointment rate with that. So we already have pre-existing websites like Veterans United because we're a marketing agency. You know, that's all we do. So we're very skilled at coming into an area and dominating that specific area with our website. So for example, if you said yes, we would basically just put our page in Texas and start getting applications. But the way that we actually generate them, how we get the traffic, what we do is we just get a list of every competitor, every bank and every loan company in your city. And then we just reverse analyze the traffic that's going to these websites. And then we just kind of put a fork in the road and send them to our own page. So the number one way to convert appointments into clients is intent. It's not credit score, because even the credit score is important, it's about the intent behind it. So, you know, it's about having the good conversations. Like, I'm sure you've had a client that says they're interested, but when it comes time to get the bank documents, you never hear from them again. So we just try to eliminate that by having high intent. So we just get you in front of the people who are online and looking for a loan. And that's the main difference between what we do and what everyone does, because most people are doing like Facebook, Google, whereas opposed to us, we're going to people who have actively, you know, gone to similar websites, try to apply for a loan, 
and then we're also qualifying them. And so what you can see here, I don't know if you can see my screen, Matt. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, so what we do is every time we get any of these referrals, we're not only just sending them to you, but we're actually following up with them. So as soon as we get a lead in, we immediately send them a text. So, hey, this is David from Mutual Mortgage. I just received your application for a VA loan, had a few remaining questions. When do you have time to talk? So we basically just follow up with them until we actually make contact with them, and then we pass them on to you. So we're only getting people who are qualified and interested. And the qualified, really, I'm just saying, like they have credit scores of at least 600 and incomes of at least 50,000. And so we get a little bit more information than that, like what kind of house they're getting, like what their desired, you know, uh, mortgage they want to have. So basically we just get all that information. We qualify them. We follow up with them. We set appointments for you and then we hand them off. Uh, and that's essentially are how... Guys, are you guys, uh, uh, are they self-graded or are you guys actually qualifying the, uh, uh, are, are you actually pulling any kind of assets and income that you know. um, yeah so we actually have it on our form where they can enter uh, their credit so like anyone that has credit under 600 we don't even look at those so anyone that has credit over 600 and incomes over 50,000 that's when we start sending them text messages and following up with them so that we can set appointments yeah, so, so they're self-grading themselves as in that category right? yeah they enter that on the form So the client is identifying where they think they are. Right. It's like a it's like a rough estimate. Usually we do it like if your credit score is under 620, 620 to I think it's like 670. And so there's tiers like that. So if it's under 620, uh, you know, we still send them text messages. We still give them to you. Um, but the way that we actually do it is we guarantee the amount of referrals that was we'll sent. So, uh, you know, in Texas right now, we're looking at getting 60 referrals for the month. So about 40 of them will actually be qualified. So what that means is if we don't actually hit the 40 referrals, we give you a full refund. But obviously, most of the time you will get more than that, which is why we offer the guarantee. It's really more like an estimate for you guys. So you know how much business you'll do with us for the month. Um, and that's why I wanted to talk to you guys about how much you guys were doing as far as volume goes, because then I can figure out how many deals you can actually take on now. But essentially, that's that's how we do it. So we qualify them, we get our own referrals through our website, and then we set appointments for you. Um, and yeah, that's how it works. What is the cost per transaction? So as far as cost goes, um, I have it right here. So for example, if we were to, because we do it by referral. So if we were to do 40, uh, you're looking at a cost of about 3000 and that's going to include the referrals, us qualifying them, and setting appointments for you. Okay. Yeah. How, lo how long have you guys been doing this? We've been doing it for three years, uh, but we've been doing it like you're seeing here for about a year. For about a year. And what is your current conversion ratio for the last year? My guys are closing two to three out of ten applications that we send. So... Um, earlier when I was asking, you know, how you guys or what you guys do every month, that's what I was going to ask, you know, how you guys can close. Cause, uh, the main thing for us is since we can only have a limited amount of referrals, I want to make sure that the people I'm sending them to can actually, you know, take good care of them because I've had clients in the past where I'll send them referrals, but you know, if they do a horrible job, they're going to come back to me. So then I have to deal with those referrals. So I always want to make sure that the people I'm talking to, you know, do a good job. Um, but that's essentially how we do it. So we set them, we qualify them, and we set appointments for you. And are your transactions only VA or is it everything? No, it's mainly VA. That's what we specialize in. Uh, we're actually starting to do more refis now. Uh, so we're starting that, but we're not as confident in that yet. Uh, but manually, we, we focus on uh, VA loans, yeah. So these VA transactions, which would be purchase transactions, if not refi, uh, are these predominantly uh, encumbered business with real estate agents attached to them, or is this you know people just kind of starting the process and need help with everything? Yeah, it's it's a mixture of both. Actually, when you get um, when you get some of our referrals, you'll see where they're at. So some of them are looking to get a loan immediately. Some are looking to get one in the next thirty days. Some are out even three to six months, um, and you'll know that just by the information that they fill out on the application. Uh, so yeah, it's a mixture of both. So, do you, so are you asking anything about a real estate agent or 
Not on the application, no. We don't ask them if they've uh, if they've been talking to a real estate agent, but we do ask them when they're looking to get a loan. So that could be anywhere from, like I said, immediately to six months out. All right, so we're saying that seven to eight of these actually fall out. What are, what are the reasons that you guys have identified for fallout? Well, I mean, I'm sure you know there's so many different reasons why they would fall out. Like it could be credit score. It could be, uh, you know... Uh, income, whatever the case is. I mean, there's just so many factors. That's why I was saying like earlier, for example, my clients are closing only two out of three and these guys are qualified and interested. So, you know, to me, I think it should be higher, but ultimately you guys know best. I mean, what do you guys see that helps, you know, increase your close ratio? Uh, It's all over the map. Exactly. So this is, so this is why you'd want to ask if they have a real estate agent because I'm going to tell you right now, real estate agents tend to push and sway uh, their particular lenders. We see quite a bit of that. Uh, if people are identifying themselves wrong, so you're, you're using a couple of words that are that are scary to me. You're saying qualified, but then you're but then you're saying that credit or income is an issue. And so you know, it's I get it because people love to round. Oh, I make about fifty thousand a year. But no, did you make thirty? Right. I get all of that that people uh, that that people um, uh, you know might not be telling you the exact truth. So I'm so I'm curious as to the level of questions that you guys are actually asking versus because I mean right now what you just quoted is about seventy five bucks a lead, and you know I get it one transaction closes that covers that entire cost. It's not that big of a deal, but. You know, from from a break even standpoint, from a profitability standpoint, from a uh, from a growth standpoint, if only two of these transactions are closing out of ten, that's an issue. Three out of ten, it's better. Uh, but realistically, I'd like to see it more closer to five out of ten. So, what does it take to get to fifty percent? And is it is it? And so, I guess I'll ask this question the best way, right? Is it quality of lead, or is it quality of person managing the lead? It's a combination of both and actually if you can see my screen right now Matt I can show you what we actually did for my guy in Las Vegas here uh, and These are some of the ones that we got uh, this month in November So I just want to show you some of the questions that we're asking so as far as what you were saying earlier Like you know what I was saying was scary the reason why I was saying that is because I just want to be transparent like these are coming no, from my so website So a lot of these have credit scores under 620 and they actually put that on there so you can see right here like uh, the first nine of them were below 620, but he's still covered by our guarantee. So he actually uh, paid for 20 qualified, and we got him 22 qualified uh, for the month of November. So, uh, like w- like you're saying, if if he gets what your, 10, what is, your, what is your definition of qualified? Well, like I just said, so if they have credit scores of at least 600 and incomes of at least 50,000. So, for example, right here, these 10, nine of them were poor credit. One of them was fair credit. So that's why, you know, he could probably close one out of the 10. Okay. So we do do a lot with uh, self-graded credit. And it's, it, in our experience, I will I'll, I'll speak for that, we're not seeing anywhere near a 10% close ratio. 8 to 10? Um, a 10, not 8. A 10. Yeah. Not, on, on our self-graded stuff, we're below 10%, significantly below 10%. That's why I'm asking some of these questions, because when you start saying 20 and 30%, um, it, it, a couple of things have to happen, right? Either you're asking more questions, you're identifying more information, or it's basically big and we're not getting. Yeah, what I what I don't what I'm not interested in, Daniel. What I'm not interested in is putting my team on a lead source that that you know 95 percent of are not ready to do anything today, and now we're now we're the business of nurturing uh, long term strategy leads it's just it's it's too complex for my for for what's for what we're doing right now and so the quality of lead the um you know kind of 
when you look at it in totality, that's what I'm really trying to drill down because we have our own experience. And so what would be interesting is why your experience is significantly different than ours. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, to answer your question, so as far as quality of lead goes and lead nurturing, I'm doing that myself. So, you know, like I'm saying, I'm not just running like regular Facebook, Google ads. I'm running, you know, networks of veterans who are on other websites like VALoan.com, like Veterans United. So they're actively looking for a loan. And not only that, I'm actually nurturing them for you. So I'm following up, I'm sending texts, and I'm only giving you the people who are qualified and interested, qualified based on credit score and income. And Matt, actually, to answer his question, I mean, just by looking at what you see on my screen here from the leads I gave from my guy in Vegas, are you guys asking similar questions? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yes, we, we ask a lot of questions, too. I mean, we do our own, you know, organic lead generation as well as as well as well purchase leads from, from, you know, lead providers. Um, and, and we do... I, I, I don't think I'm allowed to, to give out specific numbers, but we do, uh, we have a lot of these leads. And the self-graded stuff, um, you know, just, just converts lower. Uh, people are more, much more optimistic about their financial picture than, than reality, which should suggest most of the time. Um, and, and we've got decades of data to back that up. The... Uh, you know, so when you, when you talk about qualified, I think uh, uh, to David's point, our our versions of qualified are two different uh, two different things. And, and I'm not suggesting that you don't have any gold in that in that list. You know, not at all. Uh, a cost per lock would be a much more interesting metric. And if it's one out of ten, then that brings that lead cost up to you know that lock cost up to about seven hundred fifty dollars, right? Uh, and so with that being said, the, the junk leads that we see out of Facebook, uh, although they come in at a much lower cost, uh, you know, cost per locks are, 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 our cost per lock is lower than that. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, I agree. Facebook is pretty... Um bad i mean that's why i don't do facebook anymore i used to i don't do that anymore um but even if the quality of you know the lead was just the same as facebook just the same as google which it's not but let's say it was i'm also still following up with them and scheduling appointments for you so you know if someone has if someone says they have excellent credit and it's you know a little bit below that and they actually respond well now you have someone that's interested and has a credit of what they say is at least 700 so you know there's a lot of room there yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree, and there, there is value to, to to the follow up on process certainly. So how many? Okay, so how many? How many folks are you working with now? How many leads are you providing now? What what's what's normal for you guys? Yeah, so I have one guy in Florida who's taking everything. I have one guy in Idaho who's taking everything. I have two people in Vegas and one person in Missouri. So now we're actually expanding into Texas. And that's why I don't work with a lot of people because I don't have a lot of volume. I'm not just running ads. I, I can only give what I have. And I, I know gotcha. the intent on that because my clients have stayed with me for a long time. A lot of agency you know, friends that I have here in Vegas, they keep their clients for you know, two to three months and it's over because you know, they're running Facebook or Google. And, and that's just bad. I can't have that. I want to have you know, clients long term. And this is the way that I solve that problem by increasing the quality of the lead and actually nurturing the leads and scheduling appointments so you know it's a lot different than what most people are doing and for that reason that's why I have you know clients that stay with me for six to twelve months yeah that's interesting man yeah yeah I know we're so I know I know that we're uh, we're coming across somewhat grilling and it's uh, a little bit just to just to see the, the reaction, but it, it is an interesting process. It is something that uh, I see. I see where you're implementing technology, which is something we believe in. Um, I see where it's different than just a, a basic lead. Uh, 
Well, to be honest with you, Wait. I'm actually glad that you're grilling me because I'd rather have this conversation now as opposed to at the end of the month and, you know, you guys don't close anything and then, you know, it's a whole thing and you guys already paid. So I'd rather have this conversation now. So I appreciate the questions you're asking. Yeah, I, you know, I look at it and say, uh, you know, there's probably, there's there's one other person that we probably want to talk to about this uh, mm-hmm. and then for somewhat of a you know a trial basis run let's see I, I understand everything you're saying i get it it makes sense let's see what is actually happening what it really looks like and 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 go from there and so um i mean the reality is if one of these things if one or two of these start to hit on a regular basis i mean it's not i want to say this the right way to matter it's enough to move the needle but it but we're doing significantly more volume than that and so that's that's my major concern is are, are we are we too big uh for for what you're trying to do it sounds like you're working with individuals and, and that's you know i get it that's perfectly fine um but we're you know i kind of i manage and oversee an entire entity uh, so there's you know that i looked at it you know from a stance of is this is this initiative that can move the needle for you know? Um, but you're working with five individuals across the country, and that's that's the only thing that's concerning to me. So I look at it and say, all right, well, do we run this initiative with maybe two people, and and see how it goes from there? It just does uh, you know, which makes your life a lot easier because I am across the entire country. I'm not just in Texas. Okay, that was gonna be um, my next question. Uh, no, I'm everywhere. So I run an all VA team. Almost everybody on my team served in the military, and we're we're stationed across the entire country. So we work everywhere. So it is something that is, uh, you know, it's, uh, we all, most of us served. I'm ex army, and so you know, all this kind of stuff. That's what I look at. But is it? Are we? Would you have the volume, or can you up the volume uh, that to be you know, significant for us? Well, if you wanted to up the volume, the only thing I can offer is just giving you access to other states. Which at the moment, right now, I only have North Carolina, Georgia, and California. Those are the only three other ones that I have. So, uh, as far as volume goes, if you wanted to do that, that's the only way I could do it because I'm not running ads. Um, I would just give you access to other states if that were the case. So let me. So let's be a hundred percent realistic here. Per month, how many leads would you generate out of Texas by itself? Right now, I'm only getting sixty, but about forty of them are actually qualified, which okay, means so the criteria. Forty of them can move forward. Sixty of them are, are have an interest. What does North Carolina and Georgia look like? Let me pull those up here really quick. North yeah, Carolina curious. North Carolina last month in October I got 53 and then what was the second what was the second uh, state you said Georgia 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 You might as well tell me California too Yeah Georgia is pretty low I only got I only got 40 in Georgia and then California it's the same as Texas so I'm getting 60 and about yeah 45 of them qualify so, yeah. Did you build this platform? No, actually, this, this lead care platform I did not build. I just used this platform as a way for me to follow up and kind of, you know, use this as like a lead nurture system for my clients. Got it. What does your lead nurture look like? Are you phone call or are you more email text? Yeah, it's, it's more text because we see like 80% of them actually open. So I'll actually take you through some of them. So the first one, the one I showed you, hey, this is David from Mutual Mortgage. I just received your application. And so if they go, once they go to lead in, they immediately go to contact attempt. So if they still haven't responded, after four hours, we send them another one. Hey, just circling back to see when we can hop on a call. Matt, are you, are you seeing this, Matt? Okay, yeah, so just circling back to see when we hop on a call, and then a day later, so we've already contacted them three times in the first day, the next day, right. hey, maybe I caught you at a bad time, I was just following up on your inquiry for a VA loan, what's the best time to call you? And so if they haven't you know, responded after the first four attempts, we, re- we send them over to uh, unresponsive, where we send them a text, hi, are you still interested in getting help with a VA loan? If you're, 
If you are, I'd like to schedule a call. If not, no worries, just let me know. So we send them uh, five text messages over two days. And then that's when I actually have uh, one of my VAs here, virtual assistants. They actually start calling on them. And if they answer, they'll, they'll uh, qualify them and be like, hey, I just saw your inquiry. It looks like your credit score is at least 620. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Looks like your income is at least 50,000. Is that true? Okay, great. Okay. Well, let me actually transfer you to someone over who, who can help. And then we'll live transfer them if we can get them on the phone. Using the virtual assistant to accomplish that. Yeah. It's pretty well, man. I mean, it's pretty decently thought out. Um, I mean, a lot of the stuff was, you know, what we just spent the last two years talking about, <laughs> right? Exactly. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's interesting, man. Right? We, you know, we build a lot of these things for our own use cases, you know, virtual systems, things like that, and. Uh, But it's, you're coming at it from a, a little bit of a different perspective, but or from a different from a different uh, angle. But uh, I like it. Yeah. So I'm wondering, you know, I'm wondering if putting a team on it and some of the things that we do, Matt, if uh, if that low conversion rate is is because you've got a single individual trying to consistently keep up with with the pipeline that market campaigns, our drip strategies, our uh, some of the stuff that we do is generating 40 new leads, you know, or possibly picking up a couple different states, make a, you know, make a mild investment, generate, you know, 70, 80 new leads that the entire team can benefit from. Is that, is that something that would make more sense? And the, the, I'm just putting that thought in your head, and I'm letting Daniel know that there's there is actually some interest here. Um, but I, I'm, I'm kind of looking at it, going, is it quality? Okay, can we nurture quality? Okay, we know how to do that. We're pretty decent at that. And can we get it on two to four? And now forty percent conversion rate is um, the best. That's pretty good. If it's unencumbered purchase business that doesn't have a realtor associated with it, that's another benefit. So it's not the cheapest we charge by any means, but they're doing some homework and they're they're nurturing it a little bit more than before we get it than a basic Facebook lead. All of those are thoughts going through my head. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of thinking the same thing. Um, I would be, uh, you know, being able to stick a loan officer, you know, to call a dozen of these guys. What is, uh, 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 is there, is there a, like a subscription commitment, you know, a year long deal or is it, is it month to month? Like man, what's your price structure? Yeah, definitely no contracts. We don't like that. We do month to month. Um, and yeah, that's basically what it is. So 3000 is going to cover the cost of the 40 qualified. And it's going to cover the cost of us nurturing and, you know, my VA calling them. Uh, so, but yeah, so that's how we do it, so month if, to month. If, if 50 come in, is my bill higher? And if 25 come in, is my bill lower? No, it's, it's actually, so you're going to get more than 40. I can guarantee that 40 of them will be qualified because you're going to get 60 of them. And I'm still going to give them to you because why not? You know, if you're taking that so state, so might as well. The, the 3,000 is just, it, that is what it is. It's 3,000 bucks to play per state, I'm guessing. No, it actually depends. So, for example, if I change this number to 20, which is what I did for my guy Al here in Las Vegas, it's going to go down because we're doing about 50 bucks uh, per referral that we're sending per qualified referral. So fifty bucks, fifty bucks per head, and so that's what I'm. A, that's what I'm asking. So if you say that we're going to get sixty, is my bill going to be, you know, uh, forty five hundred bucks? No, because uh, some of them are not qualified. I'm only charging on the ones that are qualified. But I'm going to give you everything. Man, am I saying this question? Am I saying it the wrong way? Yeah, so I so I can choose I can choose what amount I want to buy. So if I only want to buy twenty and see how this goes, 
you're going to give me a set price. But if I go ahead and agree that I'm going to buy the 40, I get everything regardless of what happens. True. Is that, does, okay. True. So my, so my question is, you know, we go into January and February, which are relatively low in real estate. What happens if I've already paid three thousand dollars and only fifteen leads get provided? Then we is refund you. Is there dis? Is there is there discount? Is it a discounted rate at that point, or are you guys just gonna you're gonna keep sending me leads until I satisfy the boards? Well, typically, uh, what we do is we give you a full refund. That's why we guarantee the amount of referrals that we can give you because we we act, we track this, so we know for a fact that we can get forty qualified in Texas. Okay. So that's what the guarantee covers. So even if you don't, or like you said, what happens if I only get fifteen? Well, then we'll give you a refund. But we know for a fact that you get more than that, which is why we offer the guarantee. Yeah, I mean, you know for a fact I don't. Yeah. You know, at this point, at this point in time, I I. I want it to be the fact, but I don't yeah. know it. You guys feel yeah, comfortable sure. because you got the marketing capability. Yes, sir. And so, and so if y'all have a particularly successful month in the lead generation side, and you, you, you bring in 60 qualified, 20 not qualified for a total of 80, that bill does go to 4,500. Is that correct? Uh, no, we're, like I said, we're only charging on the ones that are qualified. So, for example, my guy in Florida... 60 are qualified, right? So we paid for 40, 60 are qualified. You've now given me 60 qualified leads. Ah, okay, I see what you're saying. No, in that case, we wouldn't change the price on you in the middle of the month. We would just give it to you. And that's why I want to give you the example of my person in Florida. So he's actually, we're charging him for about 60 uh, qualified, but he's getting about 120 and 80 of them are, are qualified. So I'm going to have to talk to him about uh, that next month. But uh, yeah, we won't change the price on you in the middle of the month. Okay, that, that's what I was asking. So the month is set, regardless of what happens. The yeah. guarantee is in place to cover my downside. The overage I win, and you'll renegotiate with me the following month. Got yeah, it. yeah. Usually, if it's consistent, uh, then we'll renegotiate. So, are there plans to to go into a uh, a la carte type type of model at, at any point where we could say, "Hey, look, we want leads in these states." Um, yeah, I really want to focus on Virginia, Tennessee, Kentucky. What happens? Right. Exactly. Throw me a dozen from each state, you know, or you know, or, or, or whatever. My budget is three thousand dollars. Shut me off when I hit three three k. Okay. Well, if you guys wanted to expand into other states, I would just tell you give me three months. <laughs> that way, I can rank the website and actually get like consistent leads for you. But yeah, it would it would take a little bit of time if you wanted to expand, which is what we're doing already. You know, we're trying to get as many states as we can. Uh, we're not working with that many loan officers. Uh, but yeah, that's why we're expanding now. So if you wanted to do that in the future, uh, we just need time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's cool. I mean, hell, that's the right answer, to be honest. Uh, yeah, if I was to move forward, who all am I working? Who all would I be working with at your organization? How does a lead get to me? Uh, where is a portal where I can track this information and what's going on and what's been provided, so forth, so on? I, I guess talk to me about that process. Sure. So I don't have a lot of clients. Like I said, I would be your point of contact. If you wanted to get the leads, you could either go into my lead carrot system here, or we can integrate it with your CRM or a spreadsheet or an email or a text, however you guys want to get it. The leads will always be here in my lead carrot platform. Uh, but if you wanted like, you know, a reminder, like I said, on email or text, we can integrate that too. Matt, thoughts on that? I, I mean, it's, you know, that's all okay. You know, uh, integrations on uh, CRM integrations, like, are you guys, like, actually doing custom integrations, or are y'all basically uh, leveraging, like, Zapier or something like that? Yeah, we use Zapier for all of the integrations that we do. So if you want to, like, text, we could set that up, email. We do it all through Zapier. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're, we use, we use it a lot. I, we, Dave and I like to have more control over over that uh, over those integrations than than Zapier. So there would be. Do you have a, a, a development team that that uh, like, for instance, if we wanted to send you our own? I'm not saying that right. That would work for Zapier anyway. 
Um, we would we would have to think through that because we do a lot of uh, dual posting. Um, we do a bunch of crazy stuff with that with the integrations. We have, we have a lot of different CRMs that that our company uses, and a lot of our LOs you know use multiple systems. So okay, I think if we can get it in, if we can get it in for um, uh, all right. Yeah, well, you get basically, my, yeah, I was going to say, my answer, my, my, my concern around that was having direct access to this information, being able to see it all the time, working with Daniel as a one, like, because what I don't want to do is all of a sudden Daniel and I are working together and now I'm working with the next person and the next person and the next person. It's, you know, uh, accountability with one, with one individual. That's what I'm interested in. That's me. I'm your guy. Do you own this company, Daniel? Um, I I do. I actually started it with a team of people. Uh, my guy Jordan is who I started it with here in Vegas. He's actually in California. He's working remote. Uh, he's from Orange mm-hmm. County, but me and him started, and uh, we actually only added on two more people. So we're very small, but we're mighty. I, I love it, man. I mean, you know, I think it's pretty cool, dude. Ah, oh, David, David, I love the uh, you know these kind of you know these small kind of businesses, bootstrap kind of deal. Yeah, see, the reason I like this for a couple different reasons, right? There's, there's, um, obviously everything's going to boil down to is it, uh, is it quality leads, right? And by quality, I mean, at some point, are these people going to be purchasing a home and are they willing to stay with us as an organization? But I think that we have the ability to solve several different problems, meaning multiple different states. We everywhere. Uh, VA is a primary focus and that's what you guys are that's what you guys are specifically looking at. I mean there's there, there's there's a whole lot of overlap here between what you're doing and what we're doing. And I like the idea that Matt to be honest if you were because it's not this gigantic organization that if you were to call Daniel and say, "Hey man, dude, we got to do this." Mm-hmm. That 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 has value to us. It it absolutely does. I mean, you know, speaking to the top means a lot to us. Uh, I don't suppose that you would be willing to uh, mention some of the web properties that you guys are pulling traffic off of. Sure. I mean, actually, um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of spyfu.com. That's a website that we use to get information in different states. Uh, And that way, we just basically take the information that we're getting from websites like that. And so we'll just find competitors like valoan.com, Veterans United. And so we get all this information from web tools like spyfu.com. And we just kind of use that to our advantage when we're starting a new website. And then that's pretty much how we do it. Um, But if you guys were interested in actually seeing a website that we own, I can show you that. Um, And I can just email it to you after we're done with the phone call. Um, but yeah, that's that's what we do. So we have web properties in different uh, states, and if you guys wanted to see it, sure, I could show you. I'd love to see one. That's awesome. Sure, yeah, I'll send you how'd that you after. Find, how'd you find me? I was actually just on Google. I was just calling around uh, certain people in Houston and uh, just trying to find someone that would say yes and that can take them on. Uh, like I said, I'm only looking for like one or two people because I'm not like running ads. I can't have like 10 people in the same place. But uh, yeah, I was just on yeah. Google, like just kind of looking around. Yeah, see, that's the deal, right? It's all pump and our man. That's, that's the, the, the downside, right, is is you, chances are you can go generate more business. It's the nurturing side of things that's going to hold you back. Uh, but you're implementing a lot of technology to do a lot of this stuff. So, uh, yeah, man, I, dude, it, I appreciate you kind of dealing with us being, uh, uh, being somewhat sharp and critical, but we've been on a bunch of these style of calls. This one's way more interesting than some of the other stuff. Because ninety nine percent of them are leading with what, Facebook ads. Hey, we're doing Facebook ads, and ours are the greatest thing ever. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, it, this one's this one's more interesting to me. I do. I, I have I have you know one or two other people that I need to consult so that we can identify how we want to do this. Uh, but it has promises. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. And again, please be as sharp as possible. Ask any critical questions that you want to ask. Again, I'd rather have this conversation now than later. Um, but yeah, I'm here for you. So if you guys need anything else, you guys have any questions before we get on the next call, that's totally fine. I'll be here and available. You can text me directly. This is my direct number. And yeah, we can go from there. But before you know, we, we go and you guys talk to whoever you need to talk to, what kind of questions do you have now that I can answer? 
So, you, you are you guys doing all the copywriting yourself? Uh, I assume that y'all do all the SEO in house. Yes, sir. My guy is Jensen. He actually does all the SEO for us, um, and I kind of help with the uh, landing pages, if you want to call it that. Um, but yeah, we do it all in house. So y'all, y'all are actually writing the copy yourself. Uh, that that tells me that you guys have a mortgage professional sort of component, real estate experience, you know, in this space. Well, uh, I actually, when we started uh, Digital Seed, I was actually doing network marketing. So I met a lot of loan officers there who were, you know, just trying to find clients through networking. So I got a chance to talk to a lot of them. And so, you know, I just kind of talked to them like, you know, what are your pains? You know, like, what are some things that, you know, you hate about leads? And he's like, well, I hate when people, you know, say they're interested and then, you know, they don't even remember filling out the form when I get them. And, you know, just, just all these different things that they started talking to us about. We kind of, you know, went back to the drawing board, how can we improve their system? And then, you know, that's how our network was born. Yeah, I love it. I love it, man. I mean, it's, uh, you guys are scrappy. Fair enough, yeah, so cool. I'll send you guys an email uh, now, just kind of going over what we talked about already. I'll include this as well. Um, let me actually change this back to 10. But yeah, so that's gonna that's basically gonna be the the cost for it here. That's how it works. Uh, that's how we nurture them, and that's it. Yeah, I'd love to see some of some of the actual uh, uh, the actual landing page, some of the actual you know, websites that you guys are are using to generate some of the stuff. Um, if you will to to send that over, that'd be great. Sure, I'll save it to. I'll uh, send it to David. I actually have his email, so I'll just have him forward yeah, it to you. That's fine. I'll, yeah, I'll forward it. That just kind of you know, some of the stuff we we I I know it's we have to do our due diligence, right? So that and but yeah, I, I I'm you know Daniel, I'm interested in. Uh, I think it's uh, uh I think it's something that you know we we I feel pretty confident that we're probably going to make a run at it. And let's do it for a little while. Let's see how it goes. Uh, I like the idea that we can. Uh, so we're, we're seeing certain things. We have the ability to make some some changes pretty quickly. Uh, but uh, yeah, let me call some of the powers that be. Uh, have a discussion with Matt. Do a little bit of our due diligence and. Uh, Dude, why don't you give me a shout tomorrow, same time? Okay, cool. So I have a call in a few minutes, but uh, let me just send you guys everything through email, and then uh, we'll follow up tomorrow. Yeah, just call me, dude. You don't have to set up anything, but just give me a shout tomorrow. I should have more answers by then, and uh, we'll kind of see how we progress from that. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, guys. All right, brother. Thanks. All right, talk to you soon. Bye. That's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a like because we need 40 likes in the next two weeks if you guys want another live closing. So hope you guys like the video. Like it, subscribe it, hit the notification bell. Anything else to boost my stats in the algorithm. That's kind of why I'm doing this whole like thing. But I'll see you guys when I see you guys. I'll be posting another video shortly after this one, maybe in, a, in another day or two when I feel a little bit better. But anyways, thanks.